All right, guys, we're going to go through the tripod arm lock, sometimes called the hug arm lock or the cutting arm lock, and this is going to be from the closed guard. All right, so mechanics, let me look at the, let's look at the mechanics of this, because you can use this technique from a lot of different places. So if his arm is, or his wrist is at my neck, if I grab right here on this bone on the inside, so it's called the medial epicondyle, you're gonna roll and then hug down, all right? So his chest can move forward, but if it couldn't, it's gonna lock his elbow, all right? Alternatively, you can use your wrist bone and cut into his triceps tendon here. It's gonna get the arm lock and some, uh, some, some actual pain, uh, a pain submission. Either one of those grips is fine. You'll find that one may work better in a given situation. So let's look at how to apply this. So if the person is reaching in, okay, um, and, and this happens a lot, so they'll leave their hand trailing here, um, and now you can attack it. So the more experienced they are, the less likely they are to do this. But still, this happens all the time. We need to be able to threaten this. Remember, when we had our arm, we have a cross arm high. We're set up for our arm lock. Okay. When we have it on this side, we're set up for this arm lock. So on this side, what I'm going to do, foot on the hip, right, and I'm going to shrimp out just a little bit. So I'm grabbing here, finding the bone, shrimping out just a little bit. Now, I put my foot on the hip on the other side because I want to prop him up. So if I try to do this and he's able to dive forward, then I'll lose it. Okay, so here, slide out, prop him up. Now I'll roll this over and squeeze my knees together until he taps. If I use the other grip, it's straight here. All right, so either one of those work. All right, so let's look at the other side. So here, scoot out a little bit. Now you can choose to wrap your leg around or not, that's fine, but I need to keep him propped up. My foot's on his hip, keep him propped up. Roll this over and get the tap. Or roll this over and get the tap. So either one's fine. So the, the most common things here are um, we want to make sure that we keep this um, we keep this secure, right, and that we don't allow his arm to turn this way, right, or turn this way. If it does, there are follow-up attacks, but if we want to get this one, we want to keep it nice and tight here, and if possible, leave a little uh, space between our stomach and his arm. <laughs>